that we face another question that we face from our students is about this area which is the distal buckle of the lower okay now this angle here it's where we have the masseter plane if the masseter is not very prominent it's like a plane if it's prominent the masseter is more prominent sometimes it even comes as a notch because the masseter is very heavy there it depends on the attachment of the masseter so i'm going to put this inside the patient's mouth and i'm going to look at this corner okay is the tray encroaching buccally on that masseteric area? Okay, let me come from here so you could record it correctly. See how the tray is going laterally to the side too much? Okay, if you are confused and not, or not sure, well, remove the tray and look at the sulcus without the tray. Look at the masseteric area. This is the masseteric area. Okay, see how the masseter is attached very close to the ridge? See how much close it is? So if I enter with this and go inside and imprint it, okay, imprint that line and take it out from the denture, I find that this is our line, okay? So that means this has, is going too much buccally. The, if you might love it because you want more section and you want more extensions in the lower. This is a case of resorbed ridge. But even though, what is the problem? When he begins opening his mouth, yawning, or moving the mouth during wudu, or whatever he's doing, he's going to, the masseter will keep, keep bumping into this corner. So it will displace the denture from, uh, from behind, okay? So I need to record it correctly. So you have to trim this away. Let us check this area, okay? Look at the tissue without the tray in, okay? And go in with the tray. I would say this is correct. It's better from the other side.